Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This week I wanted to build a sitting bench out of some 2x6s. Why 2x6s? A friend of mine had a basement remodel project recently and had some extra material lying around. He figured I could make use of it and I'm not going to turn down free lumber. If you want to see how I made it, stay tuned. I started out by measuring some of the boards to length. You can see here that with the factory ends, I always like to cut off a little bit to make sure that they're square. This project was going to consist largely of cutting 2x6s to length at 90 degree angles, with just a couple angled cuts. When you're all done at the miter saw, you should end up with five slat pieces, two front legs, two side pieces, back legs that also act as the back supports, and a support piece for underneath. Once I had all the pieces cut to length, I could then start marking the front and back leg sections. The front leg sections, you just measure in two inches from the edge of the board, and then mark a straight line from one of the opposite corners, giving the board a slight taper. On the back support slash legs, you can measure down on the board 20 inches and then in 2 inches from the edge. You can then connect that point to its nearest corners using a straight edge. And then whatever end of the board you want to be the back support, measure 20 inches, basically bisecting the board lengthwise, and then 2 inches from the edge on one end to give the back a little bit of an angle. And then for the longer tapered cuts, I used the band saw. You could also use a skill saw if you're careful or even a plain hand saw if you feel ambitious. A table saw would also work for most of the cuts. I then smoothed up all the rough sawn edges over at the belt sander because, well, it was out and available. My joiner was buried behind a bunch of other stuff, and it's really heavy. I had, I think, either 60 or 80 grit on the belt sander, so it didn't take too long at all. Then with an eighth inch roundover bit in my hand trim router, I could knock off some of the corners, and then with my random orbit sander, clean up any of the rough spots. On the side pieces, from the short edge, measure in a half inch on either end. Lining up the front leg, making sure that it's square, you can glue it and screw it together. Just double checking to make sure it's still square. You can then mark the bottom section of the leg 14 and a half inches up from the bottom of and that's where the bottom of the side piece should intersect. Glue and screws once again, all while checking it for square. The taper is on the outside of the legs, not the inside. The inside is actually square with the side piece. Make two mirror image assemblies like this, and the sides are ready for your bench. Here I used a hand screw to stabilize the sides and keep them upright while I was working on the seat. Also, this is a good time to make sure that the good face of your lumber is facing up. The seat bottom pieces overhang the sides by two inches. The back slats overhang the upright supports by three and a half inches. What I decided to do was line the first board up flush with the front and then just put in the two front screws basically on the corners then the back piece all the way back and the two screws at the back corners. Then I took diagonal measurements of those boards to make sure they were equal to ensure that the bench was square. I made sure that the center board lined up on the edges and that it was centered in the opening and then I just screwed it down. For these connections you can use three inch screws. For all the other connections I used two and a half inch screws. I then clamped the back board in place, spaced it evenly, and screwed it down. I could then turn the bench on its side so I get a little bit better access and put the bottom stretcher underneath. Fastening it with two screws to each side piece. This piece doesn't act as much as a seat support as it does to prevent the sides from racking. So there you have it, my version of a sitting bench built strictly from 2x6 material. Five 2x6s by 8 foot long to be exact. 
And if you want to build one of these sitting benches, go to nickferry.com and there'll be a free set of plans over there that you can use. If you do plan on using it for exterior use, I'd recommend using cedar or pressure treated material. That'll withstand the elements a heck of a lot better than just standard building materials. This is what I was given, so that's what I used. It's actually going to be a gift for my mom, so I didn't finish it yet because she has yet to decide whether she wants it painted or stained or clear coated. So I figured I'd give her a few more days and then I'll finish it up from there. Last week I had asked you guys to go over to nickferry.com and sign up for the email newsletter. And from the people that signed up, I was going to draw a name to give away a Nick Ferry t-shirt. I had so many people sign up for the email, I couldn't appreciate it anymore. So I decided to give away two t-shirts. So without further ado, I will announce the winners. Being it's emails that you signed up with, I'm not going to broadcast your email to everybody, but I will give the last portion of the email. The last portion of the first winner's email is 9482. 9482. I will email you and let you know that you won, but if you want to contact me in the meantime, uh, just let me know what the first portion of that email is. And it's a Gmail address. So 9482 is the first winner. Thanks for signing up, and I hope you enjoy your Nick Ferry t shirt. And we'll work out whether what color you want gray, blue, and then whatever size. The second winner. The email ends in grossbard, G-R-O-S-S-B-A-R-D, at gmail.com. That's not the complete email, so I will email you as well. If you want to email me in the meantime for the first half, and let me know what the first half of your email is, and you as well can pick out whatever color and size, and I will ship it off to you. I appreciate everybody that signed up for the email newsletter. Stay tuned for more announcements at nickferry.com through the newsletter, and hopefully I'll be able to give uh, other prizes away and do some really cool things. But until I see you guys next time, have a good one. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm so close.